The LG 45GX950A is the world's first ultra-wide OLED gaming monitor to feature a native 5K 2K resolution of 5120x3160 on a 45-inch screen, and forms part of the new Ultra Gear GX9 series who have kindly sponsored this video. By contrast, previous 45-inch ultra-wide OLED monitors have typically used a 3440x1440 resolution yielding a pixel density of 84 ppi. The 45GX950A increases this to 125 ppi, a significant improvement that enhances fine text rendering and GUI clarity, expanding the monitor's suitability beyond gaming into productivity tasks. Compared to 49-inch QD OLED monitors with a 32:9 aspect ratio and 1440p vertical resolution, the 21945GX950A offers 50% more pixels and 12% larger screen space, making it more suitable for multi-window workflows or content creation timelines. LG's marketing slogan is go wider, but never go shorter. Anyway, let's talk about curvature. We are generally not fans of steep 800R curvature on smaller displays, such as 34-inch ultrawides, where it often feels excessive. But on a larger 45-inch ultrawide like the GX950A, 800R feels more acceptable. Once set up, it looks aggressive at first, but we quickly adapted. For up-close PC gaming, the curvature helps bring screen edges into view, improving comfort and immersion, especially in titles like racing games. It won't suit everyone, but we would suggest giving it a proper trial before dismissing it outright, particularly given the monitor's other upgrades including higher pixel density and possibly refresh rates. Talking of which, the LG 45GX950A supports a dual-mode functionality where you can double the panel's native refresh rate of 165Hz to 330Hz by dropping the resolution from 5120x3160 to 2560x1080. This feature gives gamers the flexibility to prioritize either frame rate or image quality depending on the scenario. For example, you might use the 330Hz mode for fast-paced FPS titles, then switch back to native resolution for cinematic open-world games. In fact, there are 8 selectable dual-mode options available, including ultra-wide presets like 39 and 34-inch, and 69 options down to 24-inch 1080p. Mode switching can be done through the OSD, the LG Switch software, or hotkey underneath the bottom bezel. Besides improving motion clarity, a faster refresh rate together with high frame rate at source also reduces input lag and boosts gaming responsiveness. As evidenced using an NVIDIA LDAT device to measure end-to-end -end system latency which takes into account the mouse click, CPU processing, operating system, game application, GPU rendering, and finally the display. Together with OLED's pixel level light control which allows for true blacks and vibrant colors, the super low input lag and near instantaneous pixel response time meant that you can enjoy top-notch picture quality and responsiveness when playing games at up to 330Hz, without needing to put up with greyish blacks, blooming, smearing, ghosting or other artifacts that can affect LCD-based monitors. The LG 45GX950A is fitted with a WOLED panel featuring microlens array or MLA Plus technology which offers the potential for higher light output than conventional OLEDs. With peak brightness left at its default low setting in the most accurate Gamer 1 HDR picture preset, the monitor hit 620 nits on a 10% window at D65 white point and 260 nits full fill. Increasing peak brightness to high raised peak luminance to nearly 1300 nits on a 1% window, but at the expense of PQ accuracy, the UOTF tracking became significantly over-brightened, deviating markedly from the ST2084 PQ standard. This continues a familiar pattern with LG's OLED monitors, they struggle to achieve both accurate PQ UOTF tracking and maximum peak brightness at the same time, and we wonder if the bottleneck lies with the OLED panel itself. In SDR mode, our retail sample of the LG 45GX950A came impressively well calibrated from factory, 
with the default out-of-the-box Gamer One picture preset already yielding accurate grayscale tracking without the need for further adjustments. Although colors in this mode tracked closer to the monitor's native white color gamut, leading to an oversaturated SDR image. For the most color accurate SDR presentation out of the box, we recommend switching to the sRGB picture mode, which targets the Rec. 709 or sRGB color space. This was sufficient to keep color inaccuracies below the humanly perceptible threshold of Delta Error 3 on this challenging color checker SG chart where 140 patches were measured. Do note that gamma in sRGB mode was locked at 2.2, with the gamma option grayed out and unadjustable. So if you require a 2.4 gamma curve and accurate Rec. 709 colors for watching SDR films in a dark environment, you will need to either apply an ICC profile or use the LG Calibration Studio software to align another picture mode to your preferred targets, which is a right hassle since user-selectable gamma options could easily have been provided in sRGB mode. Turning our attention to HDR, DCI-P3 color gamut coverage measured 99% in UV terms, with Rec. 2020 coverage reaching 77%, a very marginal improvement over traditional WOLED monitors we have tested. Native 10-bit gradation was respectable, though not as refined as what we have observed on QD OLED displays. Judging from the rotating quantization pattern from the Spears and Munsell UHD HDR benchmark disk, the grey ramp in the display HDR app, not to mention along the red skies in the Martian 4K Blu-ray. Bright uniformity on our review unit was good, with no visible dirty screen effect or DSE on full field gray slides. However, there were some noticeable pink tinting along the edges, more pronounced on the left, which is characteristic of larger MLA OLED panels. As for dark uniformity, our sample displayed several vertical bands of a lighter shade, visible even up to 20% full field gray slide. While low light games containing enough texture can help conceal this non homogeneity, a uniform background that goes sufficiently dark will expose it more readily, so it's something to be aware of. In terms of connectivity, the LG 45GX950A features two HDMI ports supporting the full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48GB per second, along with 48GB per second of DSC or Display Stream compression. There's also a USB C port with 90 watt power delivery as well as a DisplayPort 2.1 input, while only UHBR10 was observed during my DisplayPort 2.1 testing, the result can vary depending on the GPU used, and LG clarified that the monitor is officially certified to support up to UHBR 13.5. A 4K 120Hz video signal from a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X can be displayed natively without scaling although black bars will appear on either side unless you set the aspect ratio to full wide, which will stretch and distort the image horizontally. Interestingly, input lag at 4K 60Hz and 4K 120Hz came in higher than expected when measured using a Leo Botna tester. If you still insist on playing on consoles despite these handicaps, Unfortunately, LG has still not implemented HGIG or any source-based tone mapping support on this monitor. As a result, adjusting the PS5 or Xbox Series X HDR calibration screen according to the instructions will lead to max TML and max FFTML values that are far too high, causing some clipping of bright highlight detail in HGIG compliant games. Our recommendation would be to set max TML and max FFTML to around 1000 nits to preserve specular highlights in HDR games while maintaining adequate overall brightness. VRR support, including G Sync, worked well to eliminate tearing and dropped frames even at up to 330Hz refresh rate, and we saw less VRR flicker than what's typically witnessed on larger OLED televisions. In keeping with what's expected from a monitor class device, 444 chroma was correctly resolved at the maximum panel resolution and refresh rate. The MLA Plus OLED panel on the LG 45GX950A features an updated RGWB subpixel layout designed to enhance text clarity, particularly when paired with the monitor's relatively high pixel density of around 125 ppi. Admittedly, 
fine text won't appear as razor sharp as it would on a true RGB OLED monitor such as the LG 32EP950 which uses a JOLED panel. But we encountered no issues using the 45GX950A for work and productivity task. Even at 100% scaling, text remained sufficiently crisp, which is still a comfortable viewing size given the monitor's generous screen real estate. That said, OLED burn-in from static on-screen elements remains a valid concern. LG has privately confirmed that the 45GX950A is covered for burn-in under the 2-year Ultra Gear OLED warranty, even though this isn't explicitly stated in the official documentation. To help mitigate the risk of permanent image retention, LG has implemented a suite of anti-screen burn measures on the 45GX950A. These include standard pixel shifting, which still preserves the full image thanks to pixel over-provisioning beyond the native 5K 2K resolution, screensaver functionality, and a manual image cleaning compensation cycle trigger. However, users may still observe edge vignetting or dimming in static regions of the screen as a consequence of CPC or convex power control and LEA or logo extraction algorithm protective mechanisms which cannot be disabled via the standard user menu. While it is technically possible to turn them off from the service menu, doing so may risk voiding your warranty, and these settings will revert to the default on value each time the monitor is powered off anyway, so this option should not be taken lightly. Audio quality is naturally limited to the physical constraints of the monitor's form factor, so we recommend using external headphones or speakers for a more satisfying sound experience. Moving on to a more contentious subject, the matte anti-glare coating muted reflections well and held onto blacks better than QD OLED monitors in the presence of ambient light. Up close, however, the microtexture coating would take on a finely grained and hazier appearance, especially on white backgrounds. Let's sum up. The LG 45GX950A is without doubt my top recommendation if you are in the market for a large format ultrawide monitor geared towards high-end PC gaming. It delivers a noticeably sharper image than previous 45-inch WOLED ultrawide monitors, thanks to its higher resolution and pixel density, and proves more versatile than 49-inch QD OLED ultrawides with a 32:9 aspect ratio. Our retail sample came well calibrated out of the box in sRGB mode, and when you factor in OLED's inherent advantages, such as true blacks, wide viewing angles, and near instantaneous pixel response time, the LG 45GX950A comfortably earns our recommended award. That said, no display is without flaws. On this monitor, achieving both the highest HDR peak brightness and accurate PQ UTF tracking remains mutually exclusive. There is also no support for source-based tone mapping, and from time to time the HDR picture is undermined by edge vignetting and logo detection auto-dimming, both of which can only be disabled via the service menu and must be reconfigured on every power cycle. Some users may also prefer a glossy screen for a less hazy appearance, or a less aggressive curvature than the 800R radius used here. For the latter, LG is set to launch a bendable version, allowing users to adjust the curvature to their liking, and you can learn more about it by watching our coverage video linked here.